main stage, which is Apple's companion to Logic Pro, has been a big part of my setup for a long time. Um, I use it pretty much any live instrument, uh, Chapman sticks, synthesizers, anything that I play goes through main stage and in live performances it runs in conjunction with Logic, which according to Apple is a, a no-no, but I run them side by side I, without any issues and it's been great for me. Uh, I'm gonna show you today uh, one of the small components of it, which is how to set up an external synthesizer um, inside main stage to be able to perform with it and be able to control it and do different things. Um, so here inside main stage, as you can see, my setup is pretty complicated. It's, um, I have the layout page here, which is conformed to everything that I do. And on the edit page, if I wanna add an external synthesizer, uh, on the top right corner here, um, the option for external instrument channel strip is what I would pick. Um, so from here, once I've picked this, I go through the very top of the bar here and I can find out where my module is. So here I'm using the sequential Trigon 6. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose the input channels. I know for me here, this is channels 15 and 16 and it's in a stereo input. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And then from here in my window at the bottom here, I can go to attributes and name it. Um, I can change the color if I want to whatever you desire and then go into uh, keyboards here and picking something like a synth module like that. In the layer section here, uh, you can essentially give, uh, tell it, okay, I don't want you to play from C1 below or vice versa or pick a specific area. So I can drag it essentially here uh, in either direction and pick the part that I want, uh, part of the keyboard that I want to be active. Uh, the MIDI input section here, you can tell it either a MIDI signal, which means that anything that I play, whether it's a keyboard or uh, any of these touch controllers, will control it, uh, or I can choose a specific one, like here is the array touch, uh, which I can pick, that'll do that. So here I've picked MIDI signal, uh, just to show an example on my keyboard here, just, it'll take any MIDI signal, so. Now if I want to have a specific device, which I usually will do so that uh, there's no conflict, I will go ahead and pick the air keyboard. So that'll work, but any other MIDI instrument, even though the signal is coming through, it won't play through that. Uh, lastly, um, here I can uh, control the program changes here. So I can tell it to go to different programs and send a bank. So I'm gonna pick banks, uh, let's see, bank one here. That's where all my sounds are. And then Go back to here, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to MIDI signal so that every keyboard that's coming through works. And I can change the programs here, so. Uh, the other cool thing here is also if you go inside here and pick chord trigger, um, you can go through Logic's uh, various setups as far as that goes. So it has different voicings. Um, let's just do, uh, let's see, we'll just do uh, pop right hand. Now go ahead and cho choose a different patch here. And now when I play, it's gonna play chords throughout this thing, so. a different patch. So if I turn this off, single notes, and I turn it on. So here's another example. Uh, let me go ahead and change the voicings here. Uh, let's do seventh chords. Anyway, it was just a simple rundown uh, how to set up a single instrument on there. Um, I know a lot of people work inside the box. I use a lot of internal synthesizers. Uh, when it comes to something like the Trigon 6, uh, as an external synthesizer, it's an easy way to set it up through main stage to be able to play it live without any latency issues or anything. And it's a pretty um, versatile setup in main stage, uh, all the different things you can do with it. And that's just a little snippet of it. Hope you enjoyed it.